Finally, OG Storm is relevant again. She's no longer a Nero champion that has the occasional decent special if RNG is in your favour and it crits. When you make her a horseman of apocalypse and combine it with her individual synergy, she is a shock dealing goddess. So in order to make her a horseman, Apocalypse has to be at 4 genetic charges, and that's why we're running the Cable Synergy, so the first fight of the quest, he starts with that. Now you have to go into the fight, you can win it if you choose to, or you can exit and revive him, but he has to be alive in order to activate the Horseman pre-fight ability. Now Storm's individual synergy means that each hit of the heavy attack into a shocked opponent has a 60% chance to inflict an additional shock debuff, dealing 70% of modified attack over 8 seconds. As you see, this the damage is pretty bonkers. Now if you make it a horseman, her shock effects last 50% longer and the heavy attacks will refresh all shock effects on the opponent. And this synergy does not stack with duplicate synergies because that would just be too overpowered. So aim of the game here is get to an SP1, hope RNG is in our favour, place a shock debuff on Captain Marvel here and then it's just parry and heavy in order to try and refresh the shocks, occasionally launching a special and hoping for a crit. She can do some pretty serious damage still as you'll see in a later on fight. I did crit there for about 30,000 off that special attack. My 6 star storm here is sig 40, so it's pretty decent damage she gets when Captain Marvel or any other opponent is at a high level of power. So what if you don't have one of the synergy partners in Storm, Archangel, Psylocke or Cable who are all horsemen in the comics so they all get an individual synergy. Well other mutants can benefit from being a horseman. So horsemen get 100% bleed resistance, a prowess buff that increases special damage by 50%, an offensive ability accuracy increase of 30%. They go unblockable for 2 seconds if the defender purifies a debuff and once per fight can go unstoppable for 3 seconds when struck. So if you miss a parry or get clipped by a special, that can get you a hole. It's quite nice. And this applies to all mutants and you have to get it by the same way of Apocalypse having 4 charges and being alive before activating the pre-fight horseman ability. So in a wee second we're going to see a SIG 46 star storm unleash a full SP2 potential with the horseman ability on this rhino. And it's some spicy damage with, some, with 44 shot charges and boom 70k. Not bad for a rank 1 6 star. You might be saying to yourself, well that's all good and well, smacking the crap at opponents in Realm of Legends. It's not really a good showcase of what a champion can do in proper content. Don't worry, I've got that covered too. We're going to be taking the Thunderstruck path in Act 6.3.6. This path has a node that shock debuffs and passives deal 25% more damage to the defender and they also take 90% less damage from all sources unless they are inflicted with a shock debuff or passive. This path also has a Vigor node and Vigorous Assault, meaning every 15 seconds the defender will regenerate for 50% of their health 
and with Figurative Assault they will be unblockable while regening and have a 65% increase in their attack. Now if you have 3 out of 3 in despair, stacking up these shocks will shut off the regen eventually. We'll see later on in this fight when Deadpool's signature ability goes to trigger and he gets 0 regen. This does make Storm a pretty viable heal block champion without actually having a proper heal block. It's quite nice to have that ability, much like Sunspot or even Phoenix when you put debuffs on you can control the regen via that way. So here I just got a bunch of shocks on and the healing is now stopped. Cannot reverse it just because of the indomitable node on this path. But we can shut it off with a number of debuffs and 3 out of 3 in despair. Lovely jubbly, he is in the bin. So I'm going to now stop rambling and just let you enjoy the last two fights of this video. It's going to be a Venom the Duck and a Cable, who both can proc regen buffs at certain points in the fight. So if you did enjoy this video, please drop us a like, give us a wee comment and subscribe to the channel for future content if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one. All the best. That came of thrones. Go see on you. I get the script. I roll the dice. Don't fall asleep. Cause I'm working nights. Hey, you trying to shut me out. It's getting late. Hey, I come and see you now. No hesitation. Yeah, I'm really, really tired of being patient. Hey, if you won't give it to me, I'ma take it. Let's keep it kosher. Yeah, mama, your son finna go supernova. Keep your focus, really. I just might spaz out in this place. Got that wall paint on my face. Just been running around in this race. Feels like I've been running in place. Now I got hella bling, got hella rings. I'm ready now. Send every team. Y'all slept on me. That's hella dreams. Don't take time, take everything. You trying to shut me out? It's getting blatant. Yeah, I come and see you. Not no hesitation. Yeah, I'm really, really tired of being patient. Yeah. If you won't give it to me, I'ma take it. Take it. If you won't give it to me, I'ma take it.
you made, you gotta prove it again. Yeah. Hey, go let them do it again. If you wanna be great, you gotta do it again. Anything in the way, you gotta move it again. Any point that you made, you gotta prove it again. Yeah. Hey, go let them do it again. If you wanna be great, you gotta do it again. Anything in the way, you gotta move it again. Any point that you made, you gotta prove it again.